Now let us see few questions and answers in image segmentation and representation. What is segmentation? Now the first step in image analysis is to segment the image. So segmentation subdivides an image into its constituent parts or object, right? If you have an image and you subdivide into different objects and parts, then we say that we have segmented the image. What are the applications of segmentation? Detection of isolation or isolation in points or isolated points, detection of lines and edges in an image. What are the three types of discontinuity in a digital image? You have point, point, line and edges. Point, line and edges like this. So these are edges, these are point, these are lines. These are the discontinuities. How this discontinuity is detected in an image using segmentation? Now compute the sum of the products of the coefficients with the gray level contained in a region encompassed by the mask. So we will use a mask or a kernel and the response of the mask at any point in the image is like this. Okay, this is the image. This is 3 by 3 mask. You apply it. This is 3 by 3. And you keep on applying it uh, right by right. And then uh, when it is done with one you know, go in the first uh, left to right, then you can do it again till the uh, all, all the rows are completed. So what we do is the value of the mask and the value which is there, that means the brightness value, the intensity value. So the mask value and that brightness value is multiplied for each and every block. And then we add it. This zi is this z is nothing but the gray level of pixel values with mass coefficient wi. This is the mass coefficient. Now the response of the mask is defined with respect to its center location. Now whatever the amount is or whatever the value is, you just uh, replace the center one with the value, with the value which you have achieved. This is how the discontinuity is detected in an image using segmentation. So uh, y edge detection is most common approach for detecting uh, discontinuities. The isolated points and thin lines are not frequent occurrences in most practical applications. So edge detection is mostly preferred in detection of uh, discontinuities. How are the derivatives of, are obtained in edge detection during this formulation? The first derivative, derivative at any point in an image is obtained by using the magnitude of the gradient at that point, means del y by del x. This is the first derivative. Then del 2 y by del, del x2, this, these are del. So uh, second derivative are obtained by using the Laplacian. First gradient, then Laplacian. Right. Uh, about linking edge points. The approach of linking edge points is to analyze the characteristics of pixels in small neighborhood. This is 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 or 7 by 7 about every XY in an image that has undergone edge detection. So all points that are, that are similar are linked forming a boundary of pixels that share common pro this common properties, some common properties. What are the two properties used for establishing similarity of edge pixels? First uh, is the strength of the response of gradient operator used to produce the edge pixel. And second is the direction of the gradient. So strength of the response and then the direction. These are the two properties which, is, which are used or employed for establishing similarity of edge pixels. Now explain about gradient operator. The first order derivative of digital image are based on various approximation of this 2D gradient. So the gradient of an image fxy at some location uh, xy is defined as the vector magnitude of the vector which is gx square plus y, gy square and under root. This is uh, tan inverse G, gy by gx. This is the direction. This is the direction of the um, or, or the angle direction angle of vector delta f. What is the advantage of using Sobel operator? Sobel operator have uh, the advantage of providing both the differencing and smoothing effect. Okay, 
this is very important because this is normally asked so you will not be asked more about rivet and other but because sobel provides you differencing and smoothing together this is why then that is why it is advantageous so because derivatives enhance noise the smoothing effect is particularly attractive feature of the sobel operators what is pattern pattern is a quantitative or structural description of an object quantitative or structural description of an object or some other entity of interest in an image it is formed by one or more descriptors so pattern is a quantitative or structural description of an object what is pattern class it is a family of pattern that shares some common properties pattern classes are denoted by wn to wm where m is the number of classes what is pattern recognition uh, pattern rec recognition involves the techniques for arranging pattern to their respective classes these are the classes so arranging pattern to the respective classes by automatically and with uh, little human uh, or less human intervention what are the three principal pattern arrangements the three principal pattern arrangements are vector strings and trees vectors strings and trees so pattern vectors are represented by old uh, lower case letters such as x y z in this form x is equal to you know square bracket x1 to xn and each component of x represent the ith descriptor this one to an ith in between you can call it any ith descriptor where n is the number of such descriptor name the type of connectivity and explain what are all type of connectivity we have four connectivity we have eight connectivity and we have m connectivity now four connectivity means two pixels p and q with values from v are four connected if q is in the set of n for p okay now if this is this is one point it has four neighbors this north south and east and west these are four neighbors so this is connected to this if it belongs to n4 n4 is 1 2 3 4 n4 p eight connectivity means two pixel p and q with values from v are eight connected if they are in set n and p what are n and p this four and diagonal 1 2 3 4 so this and this is connected because they fall in n 8 p right m connectivity means two pixel p and q with values from v are m connected since q is in n 4 p or q is in n d for this uh, n d p uh, diagonal diagonal p this 4 p 1 2 3 4 and diagonal p and this this if these two conditions are met we say that they are m connected now give formula for chessboard city block euclidean cosy euclidean distance chessboard in uh, chessboard distance it's like chess uh, have you seen uh, this chessboard it's just like the chessboard you know the distance is computed like this in a 2d the chessboard distance between two points 1 and 2 will be x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 comma maximum of these two okay this is the distance we take two points say x1 y1 and here is it is x2 y2 so what we do x1 minus x2 we find y1 minus y2 we find and we take the maximum of the value and we say that okay this is the distance city block distance is city block distance is we compute for two points If these are two points we compute x1 minus x2 the x coordinate y1 minus y2 y2 and we add the magnitude of both of them we said that it is a city block distance euclidean distance means simply x1 minus x2 whole square y minus y2 whole square this is the an under root this is the normal this is the default method actually for computing the distance between two points quasi euclidean distance means in this 2d the quasi euclidean distance between these two points Will be equal to x one minus x two uh, magnitude of this plus root two minus one y one minus y two comma x one minus x two is if greater than y minus one you know this is the distance 
if x1 minus x2 the magnitude of x1 minus x2 is greater than y1 minus y2 or otherwise this one right in this case this will be followed or otherwise this will be followed this is quasi euclidean distance what is an edge an edge is a set of connected pixels that lie on the boundary between two regions so if this is one region and this is another region these are this is considered as a edge because this is the boundary or these are the pixels which are found at the boundary of two regions and they are more closely modeled as having ramp like profile so the slope of the ramp is inversely proportional to the uh, degree of blurring in the image give the properties of the second derivative around an edge now the sign of the second derivative can be used to determine whether the edge pixel lies in the dark or light side of an image right for first derivative uh, is actually for the slope second derivative is for knowing that whether it belongs to one area or second area so it produces two values for every edge in an image and an imaginary straight line joining the extreme positive and negative values of the second derivative would cross zero near the midpoint of the uh, edge what is meant by object point and background point to execute the objects from the uh, background or to to differentiate the objects from the background this is to select a threshold t that separate these modes so any point x y for which f x y is greater than t is called the object point or the other other points are known as the background point what is global local dynamic and adaptive threshold when threshold t depends only on the f x y then the threshold is called global okay threshold any threshold t only depends on f x y global if this threshold t depends on both f x y and p x y this is known as uh, local and if t depends on the spatial coordinates of x y the threshold is called the you know dynamic or adaptive uh, where f x y is the original image define the region growing uh, what is actually region growing so as the name suggests uh, the region is grown or how to grow a region how is region being grown so region growing is a procedure that group pixels or sub pixels in the layer regions based on some predefined criteria so the basic approach is to start with set of some seed points you know the initial points and from there grow regions by appending you know there are points up append first this one then append this one then append this one so appending of each seed their neighboring pixels that have properties similar to the seed this is region growth specify the steps involved in splitting and merging split into four disjoint quadrants any region r for which uh, the sub criteria is false merge any adjacent region r uh, any two region for which this union is true stop when no further merging or splitting is positive so actually what happens here we are trying to split and merge we split and when we split again we see that if what we have split splitted whether those two or n number splitted has some common property so those splitted can be combined again merged this is region this is splitting and merging what is meant by markers an approach used to control over segmentation is based on marker marker is a connected component belonging to an image so we have internal markers associated with objects of interest and external markers associated with the background what are the two properties or principles uh, principal steps involved in marker selection first we do pre processing and then the definition of the uh, or defining the set of criteria that markers must satisfy what are these chain codes these chain codes are used to represent a boundary by a connected sequence of straight line segment of specified length and direction so chain codes they are used to represent a boundary by a connected se sequence of straight line segment of specified length and direction typically this representation is based on four or eight connectivity of the segments so the direction of each segment is coded by using some numbering scheme 
Now specify the various polygonal uh, approximation method. We have this uh, minimum perimeter polygons, merging techniques, splitting techniques, etc. Name few boundary description, simple descriptor, shape, uh, numbers and Fourier descriptors. So these were few questions on image segmentation. Thank you so much. Take care.